Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. On this week's episode, we're going to discuss the items on the Cheaper Jeeper TV camping and overlining playlist. In particular, the sleeping camping platform, the DIY awning, the rear cargo shelf, and the chuck box. In fact, what we're going to do is go on a small camping trip and we're going to test these items out to see if they're all that they're made out to be. So, should be interesting. Well, it's time to hit the road. My wife and I are going to take a short camping trip to test out our equipment in preparation for a cross-country adventure down the road. Our goal is to ensure that we have enough equipment to be comfortable for some off-road adventures but not be encumbered by the equipment such that we wouldn't be able to visit a nice hotel along the way. Now if you go to the Cheaper Jeeper TV YouTube channel you'll see there are many videos to watch. But on the left you can see in the menu the playlist. By clicking on the Camping and Overlining playlist, you'll have access to the DIY videos of the camping equipment that we designed. And so the first item on our list will be the Sleeping Camping Platform. So here is the Sleeping Camping Platform extended, all pieces in place, and the 3 inch foam pad as well. I don't know about you, but that's looking pretty comfortable. And with the seats removed, you can see all that extra storage. The cushions don't separate because of the two inch Velcro that overlaps between each cushion. Now here's a neat feature of this platform. You can remove the 40% section and be able to just walk into the Jeep and use that area as a vestibule area. You can remove your shoes, you could clean, you could cook in that area, and you still have the 60% portion of the bed on which to sleep. Now the platform will be discussed in a later section, but you could see how it's used. You could put your cell phone, your laptop, keys, your wallet, anything you want, even some food. My feet can stick up past the shelf, but there's plenty of room beneath, and if you need more length, you can lay diagonally. And of course you could use any kind of camping pad, you don't have to just have the foam cushions. But for the camping test run with my wife, we're going to use the full platform and make it comfortable. Let's have a look. You could see all the storage used underneath the platform. And as we move around the back of the Jeep, we could see how nice and comfortable it is with the bedding and the pillows. Very welcoming indeed. Lots of room beneath the shelf and lots of storage as well. And it's a nice little office if need be. And so for our first run at using the Jeep camping sleeping platform, I'd say that this was a huge success and is Lenny approved. And now the second DIY camping item on our list is the DIY roof wing awning system. The first configuration of the awning system deployed quite easily. Bungee cords were installed and the system was free of guy wires and poles. It was quite enjoyable to sit underneath the protection that it afforded. The park had lots of trees so we weren't exactly able to take advantage of the full functionality of the system. Perhaps we'll have to do a further review in another camping video. And now let's discuss the cargo area brackets and shelf system. The rear cargo area brackets and shelf system was high enough so we could fit underneath but also afforded us a nice surface area on which we could place important things. In this example you can see a propane stove and a coffee pot. And wouldn't you know it, on day two it rained that morning, so we stayed inside and had some coffee. It was quite windy later in the day, so we opened the back hatch and with the protection of the Jeep, made some more coffee on the back shelf. Whether for coffee or just storing your items, whether you're on the inside of the Jeep or at the rear of the Jeep, 
the cargo camping shelf is proving to be a must-have piece of equipment for future camping excursions. And now finally, how did the chuck box measure up to our expectations? As you can see here, the chuck box is designed to stand on its own metal legs. But at the campsite, we had a picnic table, so we just rested it on the edge. Watch how easy it is to deploy the multiple features of the chuck box. I honestly didn't have enough things to fill that chuck box. Maybe I'll have to design a smaller one. It'll be lighter too. What you see here is a very deep pot or frying pan which will be used for single pot meals. That's why you need to subscribe and hit that alert bell so you don't miss the next episode. Now my wife helped me in that episode and she thought that the chuck box was brilliant. She found that it had all the items she needed all in one place so that's a thumbs up to the chuck box I think. And now here's a few extra tips. Now for some cheaper jeeper tips. Nothing is more awesome than having a really good cup of coffee when you're camping. So the last thing you should do is boil up some water and have some instant coffee when you could just boil water and do the slow drip method and have real coffee. I've put a link in the description to an inexpensive pour over cone filter and essentially just add real coffee to the cone filter, slowly pour the coffee over the filter and you have pure, perfect, excellent coffee every time. That's one of the best tips I can give you. And the last word will go to one of our subscribers from our last episode. Now for subscribers tips. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, finally got the princess dirty? Outstanding, Jeep looks better with a little mud. You should consider giving your Jeep a ceramic coat to help protect your paint and make it easy to wash off all that mud. Signed, Kevin from the YouTube channel by Blue JL. Hey Kevin, she's no princess. And to be clear, we're talking about the Jeep, right? Anyway, I appreciate your tip and I'm gonna check out your channel to see your video on how to apply a ceramic coating. That way, the next time I go off road, it'll be a lot easier to clean the Jeep. Thanks again. Okay bud, I think that's a wrap. All in all, I think everything worked out pretty nice. Of course, there's always gonna be room for improvement. That's why we gotta go camping again, bud. And to all of you out there, be safe, stay well, take care. See you next week.